What is the team coaching shortly? I hope everyone know that already. Um, you know, but I'm not so sure that everybody knows what team coaching is because it is still a very new thing in Poland, I believe. And it, it was two years ago approved by International Coach Federation as so-called proper way of coaching, coaching teams. So team coaching is the process work with a team um, starting from six months up to one year when uh, a coach meets with a team uh, once a month, every th uh, third week and so on. Yes, it, I think the shortest time is 14 days break between sessions, the longest is uh, uh, six weeks. And they meet for about five to six hours to work together. So for certain people say, okay, this is like workshop, but it's not, it's a little bit different because coach is an outsider who asks questions, provides feedback and organize the situation in a way the team actually start to notice the way they think, how they incorporate the values and so on into their work and they start to learn how to be um, positively uh, in conflict about ideas. The benefit from team coaching is only possible when actually the team is ready for that. So that's crucial. For me, it's, uh, crucial is to see if there is a right place for, uh, for team coaching. Because if the team, for example, lacks some competences, it's not a good idea. Yeah, workshop, training, that's much better than actually team coaching. So if I'm sure that this is the right moment, yes, that they are ready and they are eager to change, yes, I introduce them uh, my theory of three responsibilities. First, I am, as a coach, responsible for the process. That I know how to create this framework of, of coaching. And I'm courageous enough to ask questions. And I'm curious uh, about the opinions and I'm not judgmental, yeah? That's what I, this is my uh, responsibility. Their responsibility is to actually do something, yes? It's not only be present here, but change something after the session. Mindset, behavior, doesn't really matter. But there is a third responsibility. The responsibility of the system, sometimes it's, it's company they work in, that everything what will be designed during the coaching process is accepted in the system. And when time is right, three responsibilities are met, yeah, I'm responsible, they are responsible, and the system is responsible, I think the magic can happen. Uh, who decides what are the goals of the coaching? Not, not, not a coach, no, 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 it's not like this. Actually, before coaching in a team starts, uh, I usually go for shadow coaching, so I go for, uh, to, to, to the um, team site for like one, two, three days, it depends, uh, on, it depends on the problem really. And I observe, I usually ask to be present in different meetings so I can just, you know, talk to people and I take notes about the beliefs they hold, the way they think, and I try to observe certain behaviors the team has. And after this shadowing, I meet with some sponsors, so somebody from HR, and I meet with team leader. So this is some kind of three-party meeting. And we have like normal coaching session, you know, when you work on smart goals and we establish what could be the goal for the process, taking into consideration their needs and my observations. And we, we are looking for markers. How, how will we recognize that this goal is, um, is fulfilled? And we agree how much of them should be really fulfilled. And it's about 80%. But very often you've got something extra, some additional thing, which uh, some additional benefits of team coaching, which were not set in, uh, as a goal, yeah? Because usually goal is, you know, to finish some project. Sometimes goal may be um, uh, to, to enhance teamwork, to, to overcome some conflicts, for example, to uh, create this uh, diversity in thinking, yes, yeah? so people are actually thinking partners. But the person who will go through the team coaching like this will actually learn after this process how to observe their thinking, thinking models and how to solve different problems in different areas. And I think if the team coaching was successful, meaning these three responsibilities were actually fulfilled, the, the person doesn't have to go through another one. Yes, I think it should be enough. They should learn how to cope with many different things. So in the end, I, I, I'm very happy, happy when the team says, I don't need you coach, yes? 
you can go go away because we can do it by ourselves and I think this is a success that's an additional thing learning how to self-motivate how to be innovative creative and resourceful uh, so when can you expect the results of the coaching uh, you know people would like to have results uh, from team coaching from you know the very beginning uh, but usually I'm very honestly say that at the beginning of the process it may be even a little bit worse because people start to observe each other. They start to question a lot of things. Yes, but later throughout the work it's getting better and better and better. How much does it cost? <laughs> <laughs> it really depends. Uh, it depends on the language we use but uh, we will opt uh, at something between 3,000 to 8,000 per a session yeah it, it really it, it depends on the on the requirements the traveling thing the the documentation you have to do around it yeah because sometimes the the company really wants to have a lot of uh, side work so you've got the session but as well a lot of calls in between and and the price may be as well connected with that okay <laughs> so the last question why we should spend the money <laughs> Uh, you should spend the money when you're ready to do it and when you feel that there are things oh, okay there are repeating problem in a team or for example you all know, have knowledge how to solve something but you don't know how to do it uh, what else um, it's worth spending money <coughs> actually at the beginning of the information as well uh, because this is the best uh, moment to incorporate good practices yes so I believe that in terms of conflict, being innovative and learning how to self-organize, team coaching is the best tool. But, you know, when training and, and workshop is already done, yes? Yeah? So uh, I'm very happy to say to the company that, no, you're not ready for team coaching because this company will be my best advertiser afterwards, yeah? Because I will spend time to investigate what's going on, to do shadowing and so on. And I say, okay, you're not ready for coaching. You have to do something else. I can recommend you trainers to do it. And then they usually come back after some time. Yes. Yeah? So, yeah. So thank you very much. <laughs>